Hi guys, it's Big Al and welcome back to Big Al Sports World. And we're back again with our non-league, the Premier League save with Kirsten Ashton in the Vamarama National League North. Well today as you can see we're up against Alfreton Town and look at those stats there. They're in decent recent form and we're in excellent recent form and we find ourselves now down here in fifth in the table. Five points behind the league leaders now of Kidderminster. Now that's a lot, a lot of points but we seem to be on a nice little roll at the minute so bonus for us let's have a quick look at the good old schedule for you so the last time you were with us was oh well, when was the last time you were with us was it Staley Bridge I got a feeling it was Staley Bridge again Staley Bridge Celtic it was indeed so you were with us for that 5 nils robin that we handed out so the next game we went out and beat Soho Moors by 3 goals to 2. We then tanked Darlington, who were 4th in the table at the time, by 5 goals to nil, which was a fantastic game. Raquel Pike, that boy is on fire. And 15 year old Chris Chalk getting his first ever goal for the club, which is a bonus. We then beat Leamington 2-1. And then we drew really badly against Wogington. As you can see, we were cruising in that game, and they, they just came back with a very late, dramatic equaliser. We then beat Harrogate 4-2. Again, Raquel Pike with another outstanding hat-trick. We then went out and destroyed... Oh, help my mouth, mouse would work. Tamworth Town, by five goals to three. Absolute classic game. The OG was an amazing OG. It was across from Booker to the back post. Look what... Well, look, Wade Slater was nowhere near him and just absolutely par-headed it straight past his keeper. Absolutely delightful goal. And then we just beat Bradford PA 2-0 in the Cup on the FA Trophy. And it's the first time we beat Bradford PA in three seasons. Yes, you heard right, three seasons. We drew with the murder on this season in the league, but it's the first time they've been us home and away last season and every time before that has been a draw. So, luckily we were able to nick the points today. But it's nice to see this undefeated run of 10 games. Here, that's now a new record for the club. Uh, previously it was 8, which was last season. Now we're on a 10 game unbeaten run. We're looking hopefully to extend that to 11th today against Alfreton Town. And obviously we're looking to close this gap. Now as you can see, look at the goal difference man. Plus 24 for us. We are flying with goals. But unfortunately we have a few issues in our uh, team where we have a few injuries and let's have a look and see who's actually going to play for us today so in goals we got Gokic because Rosario's out for up to four weeks as is Kenny so both those have been playing every game we haven't changed our team much since all those games so we're back anyway with what we have so we have Gokic in goal Booker, Chalk, Brady and do across the back with Jacobs, Lawton, Grant and Chambers on the right and up front we got David Off and Pike now we haven't been playing Addison because he's wanting to leave and every time he's played he's had a really poor written so he hasn't played, he's been out of the team on the bench we got Greenidge, we got Harbert who's also complaining he can't get first team football but I'm not changing it because why did you change a winning team? we got Almeida, Kinsella and Curry on the bench so let's get stuck into this game and see if we can nick another three points, which would be quite nice. Yo, I did click on yes, didn't I? No, I didn't. Oh wow, come on. Oh, pardon me. Come on, come on, come on. Let's get this game started. You will have noticed that the badges have slightly changed. We have installed the badge pack now, so we have badges for every division, etc. Now in the game, but it's the metal pack. It's not the standard pack. It's the metal pack, and I like it. It looks really, really nice. I think, and it's nice to have it like that. And we've just got to kick off in the all blue. Alfredton, as normal, is in the red. They are just below us in the table, so. They're just outside playoffs at the minute, so this is going to be a tough game, a very tough game. And I would prefer Rosario in goals over Gokic these days because he is a lot, lot better. Not on paper, but in actual physicalness he is. Great ball in, Pike, oh, just wide by Pike. 
Great play by Davidoff. Those two have got are creating a very, very nice partnership up front. Jacobs with the corner now. That's how Chris Chalk got his first ever goal on Chambers again trying that the long range from the corner shot where he scored a couple of goals from this season. And offered in their own counter attack here. Oh Booker, what a challenge. David off finds Pike. Can't Pike Oh ref free kick. It must be. It's gotta be a yellow card for O'Neill as well. Is it? Is it? Yes it is. But we're not gonna see the highlight of the free kick. That's disappointing. Goal kick instead. Can we win? Up and win. Up and win. Nope. I do wins it though. Grant and the Lawton, who looks wide to David off. Oh, I keep forgetting to turn him off. He's gonna shoot. He always shoots. Driving me mad, man. I need to turn him off long range shots. I keep forgetting. Keep forgetting to tell David off he can't shoot long range because he's crap at long range shots. In the box, he's deadly. But long range, he's just absolutely awful. So he is. Winchester losing, which is uh, a good thing for us. Now, we need to, need to get, pick up three points so we can leapfrog them and uh, move along. And if you're wondering why you hear loads of little noises in the background, because I'm sat on the floor. And i got to keep my legs moving, otherwise I get a numb backside and a numb legs. Good win by Chambers. David off. Oh yeah, I, I stream this onto my TV, you see, so that's why. Not a computer, not on the computer monitor. Booker, because I'm waiting on two monitors arriving. Great ball forward. David off in the box. Lay off, dead. Oh, did he miss? How did he miss? Oh my word, all I had to do is tap it in. That is a shocking finish by David off. Free kick the Alferton. And let's just put it over the bar. We get loose off in the next round of the FA Trophy. That should be fun because uh, they're pretty good. I do. Pike. Where's he going to go? In the Lawton. Oh, and the young Jacob, 17 year old winger. He's played fantastic this season. Grant, I think Jacobs has been called up in the under 21 squad for England as well now, which is good. Jacobs, Lawton, in the Grant, the playmaker. He finds Jacobs, good control. Lawton, nice patient build up. There's that ball in. David Off, look over. Uh, Jacobs, oh, you're going to hit that with your right foot 100 million miles wide. Might as well hit the corner flag. Um, the other thing is we have returned we've turned down seven job interviews from Skybet League 2 and the National League itself because I want to stay here it's this is a game about getting this team to it to the Premier League and oh Chambers what an effort kid that's what he's great at he scores some cracking goals from these corners like that and Jacobs will whip it in again from post chocks oh can't get a pipe pumps it back in and a clearance and whew, Alverton living dangerously there. So yeah, the likes of Wrexham and things like that there have all been offering me jobs and I've turned every single interview down because this game isn't about me getting all the way to the Premier League. It's about getting cursed and Ashton all the way to the Premier League. The little Nash. So we'll see what can happen. David Doff. Oh, there's that ball of Chambers. Just let it off. Grant. Oh, and Chris Chalks out of the towel. Poke the tap it in. Is he onside? No, he's not. Oh, disappointing to him. That would have been some goal for the 15, 16 year old centre back. Who's played physically most of the season since we've gone to 4 4 2. And that's just shocking. And thankfully, Chalk was there to play it off to the striker to clear up. 1 0 down would not have been good. I'm guessing Chester are winning. Where's Chester? Where's Chester? They're losing. So why are we dropping? Oh, Lowstaff are winning. That's why we've dropped down the table. Oh, come on, lads. I'm highly disappointed with our two strikers in this game. They have not turned up at all. Come on. Fire them up. Come on. Uh, attackers, I expect to see a bit more from you. Assertively, say. Uh, there you go. Didn't even improve him. Feck that then. So Alfredton kick off the second half. No changes made again. We haven't done many changes this season. Um, if the team's playing okay, oh, I can leave it nice out there. Unless they're looking absolutely shattered or the ratings are dropping really bad, like the way Davy Doff is at the minute and Pike. But I've only got one striker on the bench. So 
Well, I could put Chambers up front, I guess, with uh, Greenwich and put Kinsella on the wing. So I do have that option if these two don't start improving. Chuck's not looking the greatest. We're back up the fifth, but I don't know why because we're now 1 0 down, so we're going to drop that down because Chester are now winning as well and we're losing. Don't want to see that again. Come on. Spending more just equalised. Looks like this is going to be our first defeat in 11 games. And it looks like we're going to make some changes. Now, our top two have been playing really, really well. This is my problem. Looking bad across the back. So, let's get Harbert in for Chalk. Like for like. Curry in for Do because he's only got a 6.3. Now who do we take off? Do we take off Pike or take off da David off? We'll take David off off. That's our normal change. And we'll put him as a target man as normal. Because that's what he likes to do. And... Confirm that. Come on lads. Hat trick of changes. Let's see if that can help us out. I don't normally make three changes all at once either recently. I stopped doing that but we really need a goal and that's a terrible ball again and it's two on two three on two and look at this they're just stretching us again come on that's better Brady gets the challenge in but again a poor pass like we've been playing outstanding for so long and then I come to record for you guys and we're playing absolutely awful look at that Jacobs two poor passes in a row sort yourself out or find a new club because Jesus Christ I know you're only a kid, but come on! Oh my word, absolutely diabolical. Gucky, what are you doing? Come on, collect it, kid! That's why I don't like him in my, t in my team anymore. Uh, we want to tell him to push forward. Come on, let's go attacking. We need a goal. Let's go attacking. Tell him to push forward and go attacking. This is just not good enough. Like we've been free scoring goals all season. We come to Alfreton Town and we perform like this. We're back to fifth in the table because low stuff are drawn, but it's just not good enough. We should not be losing to a team like Alfreton. This is diabolical today. I can't wait that Rosario comes back because Gokic has caused us so many goals since he came back in as well. Greenwich, oh, that was a deadly ball. Good defending by Alfred and putting their bodies in the line for their own team. And it doesn't look like we're going to get an equaliser. So it looks like it's a defeat. First time in 11 games. Well, it had to come to an end at some stage, I guess. Unless Grant, oh, no, he can't. He can't do it. It's a first defeat in 11 games. The record has now been set at 10. And I guess that's it. Alfred and were winners in a poor match. It was a very poor match for the Nash. But we remain in his playoff positions. So that's the good thing. And I'm just going to be aggressive with them. So guys, thank you very much for coming and joining us for that disappointing, boring game against Alfreton. Um, we will next be back with the game against Lostoff. Uh, in the league who are literally right below us in the same amount of points but obviously at the minute we had the far superior goal difference for the whole entire division but not with perform if we start playing on like that we won't have it for much longer so guys again thank you very much if you've enjoyed this one hit the thumbs up like button if you're brand new to the channel hit the subscribe button and the journeyman and boyhood returns will come back soon i am just really 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 busy with my new businesses businesses see two i got two new businesses that i've just opened and they are mega busy one i'm building a website now for which is taking too much of my time so they will return in the near future and obviously i'm just going to keep this safe because it's the one i'm enjoying the most and it's the quickest one to get through as well so guys thank you very much have a great time all the best bye